SpaceX called off the highly anticipated launch of its Starship rocket. The spacecraft is the most powerful built and is said to be a critical part of NASA's goal to return astronauts to the moon. The launch was delayed at the company's facility at Boca Chica on Texas's Gulf Coast. SpaceX said the launch was scrubbed because a pressurant valve that appeared to be frozen. In a moment, we'll learn what that is. Yes, yeah, CBS News <laughs> senior space analyst Bill Harwood joins us now. Bill, pressurant valves, notoriously tricky. We all know that, <laughs> except we don't. Please explain why this delayed the launch, please. Well, you know, all rockets have to pressurize their fuel tanks to force the propellants into the engines uh, at the proper flow rate so they can start up and then operate normally. So you've got to have that. Uh, and in this case, the, the Starship rocket SpaceX is building is, as you said, the most powerful rocket in the world. It's truly gigantic. The thing's nearly 500 feet tall. It's loaded with more than 10 million pounds of propellant. And obviously, all of those systems have to work properly. Uh, Elon Musk said in a call yesterday that, uh, you know, he told everybody if there's any sign of any trouble at all with the, with the first flight of a rocket like this, they wouldn't hesitate to scrub the launch. And that's exactly what they did. You know, one thing that we both, uh, Tony and I, just found fascinating is 90 minutes to go around the Earth. Is Tell us what the significance of that is uh, it compared to perhaps other rockets. And also, uh, how does that advance our goal to getting back up onto the uh, lunar surface? Well, a couple of things. You know, orbital velocity just depends on your altitude. So, you know, anywhere between 100 and 200 miles up, it takes about 90 minutes to go around the planet. And if you think about the communication satellites that allow you and me to talk right now, they're up 22,300 miles where it takes 24 hours to complete one orbit. And so those satellites appear stationary in the sky because they're rotating with the Earth, if you will. Uh, so the 90 minutes is not a big deal for this. The, the real issue with the Starship is it, it is so huge. It can carry 100 tons of payload to orbit in one flight, which is utterly remarkable. This is twice the power of uh, NASA's SLS moon rocket, you know, that, that we saw them launch late last year. Now, the Starship, the upper stage of this rocket, it was, is what NASA's paying SpaceX several billion dollars uh, to develop and, and use it as a moon lander. So, in other words, the astronauts would go to the moon on the SLS rocket in an Orion capsule, transfer over to this SpaceX uh, lunar lander and then go down to the surface. So, you know, this has all got to get perfected in the next couple of years uh, for NASA to keep that program on schedule. And I should mention real quick, there's other customers, too, for Starship. You know, the company plans to use these rockets to launch Starlink satellites, other types of satellites, and space tourists even. So uh, there's quite a lot on the table for SpaceX. And yeah, very quickly, Bill, uh, one thing, it, it, Elon Musk has a, a love affair with Texas. It, is that part of why this launched in Texas? I mean, when it comes to Tesla, uh, why, why Texas and not Florida or California where SpaceX has launched from before? Yeah, well, you know, one, one advantage of doing this from the south coast of, of Texas like this, it's a very desolate region where they are. Uh, it's south of, south, of uh, south Padre Island, if you know the vicinity. It's almost the, the southernmost tip of Texas. They can launch east over the Gulf of Mexico, and it's not uh, regulated in the same way that the, the Air Force Station here in Cape Canaveral is, Kennedy Space Center, or even Vandenberg out in uh, California. Uh, so it just turned out that was a low-cost, convenient option uh, to serve as kind of a test bed for these rockets. Once they're operational, however, they will be launched uh, from the Kennedy Space Center. They built a gigantic launch pad here uh, just to accommodate the Starship. Uh, I can see it right out the window, actually. Uh, and so sooner or later, the rockets will come here, and I'll be able to look out and watch them take off. That's cool. You really do have to see them in person. The, the pictures do not accurately convey just the scope and scale of just how big this rocket is and how big all of it is. So, Bill uh, Harwood, thank you very much. Sure thing.